Hi there, Joey from DayJobHacks.com. Today I'm going to give an update on the YouTube channel case study showing you the subscriber growth, the revenue, the milestones that have been made. We are now uh, roughly a little over a year since this channel started. I'm gonna show you how much work has been involved, what to expect if you're building your own YouTube channel, and what kind of traffic numbers to expect. Now, this has been a slow project for me. It started out with the goal of 100,000 subscribers last year, and currently I've hit 1.5% of that, roughly around 1,500 subscribers. I just recently hit another milestone where I am now part of the monetization program. I'm going to show you that data. What is happening along those lines just recently happened. Um, that was an exciting time uh, just because it was one of those goals I wanted to hit. And um, along the way, I've been sharing through this case study different parts and different milestones. You can check the playlist link down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more updates like this. Now, this channel isn't all about how to build a YouTube channel or how to be a YouTuber or whatever it is you want to call it. It is about, you know, marketing online, digital marketing, all that kind of stuff. However, today I wanted to give an update as to what to expect if you were to use YouTube as a channel to market your own product or service or to use it for a traffic source. Now, I have built this YouTube channel to promote my own products as well as, you know, build a brand online. And that was part of the goal from the start. If you look at the case study videos, you'll see what the goals were and what the, the purpose of this channel was is more educational. And that's what you're going to see. So let's look at some of the data, some of the numbers recently. Um, as you can see here, one of the bigger milestones that I've hit is I was welcomed into the YouTube partner program, which was, you know, like I said, it was it was good to hit that milestone. It basically means I got a thousand subscribers plus 4,000 watch hours on my channel in the last month I've seen uh, more growth again and I'm starting to see a lot more sales of my own digital training product okay now for anyone that is looking to build their own products and get traffic to their product and get sales YouTube is a great source of traffic for that you can build yourself a brand while at the same time getting traffic back to your products and this is a great strategy if you're going to build a, an educational digital product online maybe um, you're building a Clickbank product maybe you you have a training course about diet or about anything you could have a business training course you could have training on anything and digital um, digitally deliver it to customers using a, a system that I've done myself for affiliate marketing, okay? And that uh, that product that I own is powerhouseaffiliate.com. It is a training site. It provides uh, access to different uh, strategies on how to make money online as an affiliate marketer, okay? So it's just an example. Now, coming through here, you can see in the last 28 days, uh, my views dropped significantly here by um, 5%. And the reason for that is because as I've been building this channel, it's been picking up some, um, some attention from other companies and other companies have actually purchased ads to my videos, okay? And last month they ran an ad and I got uh, hundreds, uh, well, tens of thousands of views on one ad. Now, that, those views didn't actually add up to my watch hours they didn't add watch hours onto my channel so it, it wasn't um, part of why i hit the milestone i find um, just by looking at the data that youtube will only count i guess um, organic watches on or organic views to your channel to calculate whether you qualify for the monetization so once i've hit that mo milestone i basically had to come in here and I had to do a couple steps. I had to sign up to AdSense. I already have an AdSense account. Uh, I've done videos on how to make money with AdSense. So I just connected the two and then I waited and I had to wait roughly two to three weeks because of what's happening now in the world with uh, everybody at home. They don't have as much staff on, but it took me about two to three weeks to get approved. And now we can come in here and when I go to analytics now, I can see how much money I'm earning from my channel, okay? Um, there's other great data in here, obviously, too, but let's look at the revenue and what is actually exciting about this is, like I said, this is just starting. So it was literally, I think, two days ago. The first day I started earning money was on the 19th of April, which was $6.58. Now, obviously, this isn't like, woohoo, like I'm going to, you know, quit my day job or anything like that. However, what's exciting here is the CPM, okay? 
Um, obviously, it's very early. I don't have any data yet, but looking at the initial day, like the first day, CPM seems really good to me. Judging by what I've seen other people reporting, whether you know some people are down to a dollar CPM or two dollar CPM, but choosing a niche that is highly competitive that I've done, you know, make money online, it seems to be uh, a good result in terms of how much money you can expect to earn per thousand views if you were to choose a niche like make money online or affiliate marketing or whatever it is you choose okay so that's kind of exciting uh, one day um or actually it's been like i said one day i've earned nine dollars so roughly we'll say with 1500 subscribers you're looking at you know 300 bucks a month or whatever like that which to me I mean, it's it's really relative. I mean, three hundred dollars a month could be a nice car payment. Okay, so it took me a year to get here, um, and I never built this channel to earn. I mean, it's great earning money from YouTube. Trust me, I, I, it feels good. But it, I didn't build this channel with the goal of I'm going to get rich making money off YouTube. It was a branding exercise, and I'm going to show you some of the revenues that just resulted on my own product from YouTube, okay? So that is more exciting in terms of how much um, you can rely on this now as a, a residual traffic, or I don't know if it's a residual, I guess it is kind of passive, we'll call it, passive income, where I still have to create videos um, and, and still get that growth and, and still feed this so that it continues to snowball because you're seeing results now as i've shown in my previous videos related to this that it does snowball you get traffic the more you produce consistently the more uh it snowballs now i've like i said i've only done two videos a week i took a week off last week just to kind of take a break after reaching a couple of milestones however uh two videos a week if i would have done four to five videos a week this would be much better numbers but listen I don't want to burn out I like doing this I enjoy doing these videos and I'm gonna to stick to my own schedule and that's what I suggest you do if you're looking to start a YouTube channel um, set a schedule stick to it and don't try and burn yourself out too hard okay um, so let's now look at some of the analytics inside um, and see where uh, some revenues have been made here so this is the powerhouse affiliate website as you can see, I have it connected to show every time somebody buys the, the course, okay? It is a course. It is very affordable. It's a $20 course. You sign up, and if, if you stay, um, you get more trainings, more live updates. You get access to the forum, all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, so it is a great product. It's like actually the people that join it really enjoy the, the, the training and all that stuff. So what I'm showing you here is that over time building this YouTube channel, this is just the YouTube referrals and it's a comparison of, you know, the last, like the current three months versus the last three months. And you can see the snowball effect here. And really with only 1500 subscribers here, it's kind of impressive to see how much it actually earns. Cause um, looking here, it's roughly uh, in three months. So it would be January, February, March and then we're halfway through April so about three and a half months and it earned twenty four hundred dollars so roughly we'll say seven hundred dollars a month in sales of the product okay so seven hundred dollars a month plus we can expect about three hundred dollars a month from the YouTube monetization so roughly a thousand dollars a month now will be coming in that's enough for somebody to put a mortgage on a house um, and this is through the efforts of building a product, building some a business, and building traffic consistently through a YouTube channel, okay? So this is just an example. That's how much work it would take, two videos a week, blah, 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 okay? Obviously, you need to have a good product. You need to have something that people wanna buy, or you could send this traffic to an affiliate product all while earning cash, okay? So you don't have to have a product. You can actually use affiliate products and build yourself a brand, build yourself a website, and give people value and bring them back to your site. And this is um, the kind of traffic numbers you can expect. So it's really not real magical numbers here. Um, nothing to get like super excited about yet. But to me, I am excited because I'm actually seeing results. I'm seeing these numbers go up. Uh, month over month, you can see here 120 or over the three months period, 120% increase, which is great to see, okay? Now, one thing I actually forgot to mention is the affiliate income that I am generating from this channel because in some of the videos, I do in fact refer people 
two products that I use while I build my own business, okay? So all of the products that I refer are actually products I use or I have used in the past, okay? So for example, when people come to my website or they come to my YouTube channel, a lot of people are looking to build a website. They're looking to generate income online. So I've referenced in the past some things like servers or hosting companies. And for example, uh, looking here at the Bluehost uh, referral program, you can see here just in the last month or of April, just in April, $340 in revenue just from those clicks. And you can see it's actually highly engaged traffic. So YouTube traffic does work as an affiliate, okay? Um, I'm very clear in my videos that I am an affiliate. I tell people that up front. I'm not trying to hide anything, okay? So I think people get value in that and they see me referring these products and they're helping support my YouTube channel at the same time. So as you can see, there is additional revenue. So just this month, 340. So roughly almost now up to $1,300 to $1,500 a month just from the YouTube channel uh, currently. So it is definitely a project that I'm going to continue building. It's something I like to do. I enjoy doing it as well. Um, so we know it's working. Consistent content. That is all this is. It's content marketing, okay? Um, now, for people that have been watching my channel, you'll also see that sometimes I do refer people to Day Job Hacks. That is just the website I built around the channel. Um, the, the, the main uh, goal with that site is to get leads. It's not really growing as fast as um, Powerhouse Affiliate is because most of my videos do link to Powerhouse Affiliate because I'm talking about the specific product, okay? But there is traffic coming to Day Job Hacks, as you can see from YouTube. Uh, again, this is a comparison, I believe, uh, February to March and March to April. So month over month, 43% increase, but the traffic numbers aren't magical. Again, they're really small. You can see here, though, the, the, the ebook submissions. So people who do go to dayjobhacks.com, the ebook submissions, I'm getting leads there. And those leads are, again, being sent emails and this doesn't even factor in the revenue that I'm generating from AdSense by sending people to blog posts, okay? So the, the leads I'm getting are also coming into this business model where I get leads, they get sent real good content. So I'm not, you know, sending them junk. I'm not sending them crap. It's actual content they can use and, and, and make decisions on, okay? So a lot of the people that could join this list are looking to make money online. If you're watching this video, then you're probably in the same business or you're looking to make money online and you're considering whether YouTube is a viable channel. I think this proves that it is a viable channel. The more videos you do, the more you're going to make, the more consistency you have, the better you're gonna make, uh, the more you're going to make, but really it comes down to quality content, okay? That is the, the moral of the story here, okay? If you don't have quality content, if you don't have a quality offer in the back end to monetize, or if you don't have, you know, um, quality videos, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna see any results. Now, obviously I'm, uh, only doing two videos a week. I think people can do a lot better. I've seen people start a channel and have 50,000 subscribers within a month, okay? So um, this is just an example showing you precisely how much work is involved. A couple more things before I end this video here. Um, just looking at the analytics again, if we go into overview, you can see it is growing each month, um, 143 more. Uh, than usual last month. So it is growing consistently um, exponentially. You can see my drop off right here in views. That was when the ad paused. Um, they ran it for one month. So you can see on April 2nd, it dropped. So they ran it during uh, the month of March. So you can see I had a whole bunch of views here, but they did not add on to my, my um, monetization views, which was interesting to me. Um, again, we have some reach numbers here. Everything is growing exponentially as again, you can see. So the impressions last year or last month were a lot higher. We'll probably see a drop because of the ads, but I think the ads did help in finding new subscribers to the channel. And I think over the course of the next month or two, we're gonna see some better growth probably to a thousand subscribers a month, I'm guessing soon. To the channel assuming that the quality content still keeps coming out looking at some of the engagement again you can see that big drop off just from that ad that was running i may consider running ads myself over the course of maybe 
um, the future. Maybe you can see here, this is the big spike. This was when the ad ran. So it ran from March 10th right up until April 1st, and then it dropped off. But you can see, looking at the, the this line here, if we take into, just take this out of the, the picture here, you can still see it is constantly growing and going up, okay, this line. And looking, you can see here the audience is still continuing to grow. And now we have this new panel here, which is the revenue, and we're into day one. So it's going to be interesting to see as we continue to build this channel. If you subscribe, like this channel, you'll get updates. You'll see more of how this is going. I like to uh, give all the information so you can see exactly what is involved. Um, if we look at how many videos I've done, it's roughly two per week for a year now. And you can see now uh, that it is, it's working. In my opinion, it's working great. So that's uh, my 15 minutes of fame here today. Hopefully you liked that video. If you did like, share, comment. We'll see you in the next video. So if you have any questions, post them, please. Uh, if you like, uh, if you'd like to see me produce different types of videos, different types of content, again, share that with me. Lots of things to uh, for me to learn over the last year in how I de uh, develop the content and how I, uh, di you know, distribute it. And lots of things that I've learned, especially from my subscribers. I, I even had an email this morning like, hey, you didn't post a video last week. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. But uh, yeah, I, I get it. People like these videos and I'll continue to make them assuming that, uh, you know, I'm giving people what they want. So again, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next videos.